Good morning. Welcome to my channel, Boreas 65. My name's Anthony. It's Saturday morning, April 22nd, 2023. Come up here this morning, Saturday morning. I think I'm only going to stay the day. I did not plan to stay the entire weekend up here. I come up here to uh, help my neighbor, help me <laughs> to uh, wire up the electric stove. Uh, that's one of the projects that hopefully he'll, I'll be able to get in contact with him. I try texting him and I don't, he must be somewhere. So maybe sometime this afternoon, he'll come over and help me wire it up. Uh, I put the range cord, cord for it. Um, what else did I buy for it? I bought the uh, the electrical outlet for it and a breaker, 40 amp breaker for it. So hopefully I got the right stuff. I'm pretty sure I did. So hopefully this afternoon we'll get it working. He was up here earlier this week. He cut out the countertop to make it fit in. And I'll show you that in a couple of minutes when I go in the c cabin. But um, it's a beautiful day here. It's probably about, I'd say it's about 60 degrees. Got up here this morning around 6.30 a.m. About that, 6.30. I kind of unloaded the truck, looked around a bit, checked the game cams. Uh, I set up another cell cam up the road, up on the driveway. I don't know if it's working or not. I'll have to test it out to see if it's working. But I got, I got a secondary cell cam up here now. And um, I had a... At a bird's nest above the uh, above the door of the cabin over here, and I knocked it out. And uh, earlier it was a little I don't know what kind of bird it was. It was probably pretty pretty mad at me for getting rid of the nest, but I don't want that nest above the door. I'm sure when I'm gone he'll start to try to rebuild it or whatever. But anyways, let me take inside. I'll show you exactly what my neighbor did he cut out cut out the countertop to put the stove in i think it looks pretty good so i'll see you in a couple seconds here and i'll show you what i did
Okay. I just shut the heat off. Man, it, it was kind of cold in here. I just got the chill out of the place in here, but it's really warm in here now. Wow. All right, here it is. The stove is in place. What I'm going to have to do is get, I'm going to have to find some type of molding to put on the side, on each side, when it's, when it's hooked up. Next time I come up here, I think I'll have to take a measurement and stuff like that. And I originally was going to have this piece right here cut out, but my neighbor that was down the road from me kind of talked me into keeping it, so it'll look like it just fits in. I'll most likely have to find some black paint to paint that, or maybe a maybe a strip of molding to put in there. I'll figure something out, but there it is. I mean, it's not hooked up yet. Hopefully today it'll be hooked up, I, I'm hoping. If not, whatever. So I, I also brought up some blueberry plants that are outside. I brought some up, some small bushes to find a place somewhere to put those to see if they take. So that's probably my next project that I'm gonna do. Yeah, a few minutes, a few minutes ago, I was cutting a tree that fell on the property. There's several trees that fell on the property. I, I just cut one up with a first time using it, the electric chainsaw that I got. I got a gas one, but I wanted to see how that electric one worked. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, I'll have to put a different chain on it. I have a different chain on it, but the one it comes with, it's it's not not so great. So it's one of those Harbor Freight ones. Paid under a hundred dollars for it, so it does. It's doing what it doing what it does. It works pretty. It works pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, you can't cut anything huge with it, but small stuff around here, no problem. I still got the fridge here. I'll eventually, hopefully, I'll put it back in the corner here. And my goodness, it is warm in here. Wow, I probably shouldn't have put the heat up so high, <laughs> but. Put up a bunch of the cabin needs a good cleaning. It really does. I brought up a bunch of stuff as you can see. I brought up all kinds of stuff. So hopefully we'll hopefully we'll get that done today and we'll take another look at it one more time in case you want to see it from all sides. pretty good I'll be happy when it's working up and working so it's countertop I don't know what I'm gonna put on it I bought a I bought a smaller coffee maker to bring up here a real small one the one I had was okay but I'm trying to find things to let make up less space because there's not a lot of room in this place very small as you can see uh, radio I brought I just bought that that wasn't much. It was like, I think it was like under $25 from Amazon. It works pretty well up here. It works pretty well. So, you can see there's a few more changes from last time. I put a few new signs up and moved a few things around. I think you have be seeing it. Also put some uh, new lampshades on last time I was up here. You probably saw that in my last video. I think I was up here five weeks ago. About five weeks ago, and there was still a ton of snow up here, but it's all gone now, as you can see. It's all gone. So I like these new, I really like these new lampshades. Get the Swiffer thing out of the way. Turn it on. Here we go. Uh, you really can't see it. It's too light out. At night, you can see it. Okay, shut it off. It is off. Well... I'll be back in a bit, give you a little bit more updates, see what's going on here, what I'm doing here for the day. Like I said, I'm, I just planned to be up here for the day. I didn't really, I didn't pack any clothes or just packed a few snacks to come up here. And uh, I, I, I was kind of hoping that he would come down early in the morning. I had texted him yesterday and he had said he'd be around in the morning, but it's already close to 10 o'clock now. And nope, yeah, 10 o'clock. The clock's an hour behind on the wall. So, 
Maybe I'll try texting him one more time or walking down. I was I walked down his house earlier and nobody was home. Of course, typical mean. Nobody home and all the doors left open. The car, one of the cars was in the driveway. People leave a, pretty much leave their doors unlocked here. All right, I'll be back in a bit. All right, so the uh, wiring is done. I didn't record any of that. I had the uh, guy up the road help me do it. Didn't record any of it because there was a lot of swearing and yelling going on trying to get this thing done. It was a pain, pain in the neck. So there's a box. I know it's messy, but it's through. And I'll show you inside. Can't, couldn't test it today. Got the wrong breaker. Supposed to be another type of break, and I got the wrong one. So tomorrow, I guess the guy down the road for me is going to get the right one, and he'll test it out. But it's in place. I'll show you. Okay. Cleaned up a little bit. It's definitely in place. Now I just have to put the uh, uh, back. I don't think I'll put that on now. I'll put the fridge back. And then tomorrow when he hooks up the right breaker, he'll test it and that should be it. We should have a stove. All right. I'll be back. Okay, so this is kind of what the finished product looks like. The fridge is in place, the stove is in place, but it's not, not working yet. Not till the not till the correct breaker in the panel is put in. Um, so the place needs a good cleaning. I kind of just cleared off all the clutter from the table in the kitchen countertop. I kind of tried to put almost everything back to where it was. So this is kind of what what it what the final result is with the stove, fridge, stove. It's exactly kind of what I wanted. It's 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 perfect. Um, I was gonna, I had planned to cut a couple of pieces of the wood to fill in the sides, but I, uh, I, I guess the guy up the road, that, my neighbor, he's gonna do it for me. He said he uh, just has to uh, fix his table saw or something, probably needs a blade or something. So he said he would cut two pieces of the wood to put there and then it'll be complete. So hopefully tomorrow he'll get the right breaker for me and I'll pay him for that when I come up here next time. Fridge is all plugged in. It's not over here anymore. It was. So it's pretty pretty clean in here. Well, not clean, but it needs a good cleaning. But it's everything's put back to where, where I like it to be so I can actually move around. And I can start bringing things up. So, I'll show you outside. Um, I finished the light. It does work. I brought it inside the shed. And it does turn on because it wasn't turning on. It's a lot of sensor. You turn on only at, only at night. And now I put the two wind chimes out on the uh, shepherd's post. Close the uh, plumbing box. I did not turn on the water today. I didn't. Brought the snow blower down, which I'm gonna have to bring back with me eventually, or have the guy up, have the other neighbor up the road fix it. Needs a couple of belts. They snapped off. So yeah, that's. I kind of like it. It's smaller. It's up there higher. And it's kind of, I think it'll, I think it'll be good. 
Maybe we gotta have the other one inside the shed. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Got these two chairs, probably bring them back with me next time. Okay. Cut up some, cut up some wood, some uh, trees that are on the other side. Uh, I don't think anything's in that owl box. Could be wrong, but I don't think anything's in there. Okay. In case anybody in is interested, my neighbor called me. Well, not my neighbor, but the guy that owns a piece of property right over beside me. He wants to sell it. And uh, he wants a lot of money for it. I, I don't know what he's going to get for this piece of property. I think he wants between 70 and 75. It's got a small shed on it, which you can't see now. It's somewhere over there. <laughs> I do see the electrical, uh, I do see the uh, power meter. You can't see it from here, but it's, I mean, it's there. If I'm in, if I'm in the right spot, I can see it. But He had a meter on the property and I didn't believe him, but you know something? There it is. So he wasn't lying to me. It, it is on the property. Okay. So I don't think he's going to get 75000 for that. To tell you the truth, I offered him 20000 for that piece of land. That would be about it can't do anything with it. it's too hilly too many trees driveways not there anymore so why would I buy it just so nobody else would buy it so I wouldn't have a neighbor next to me in case they I don't know sometimes people buy a piece of property and they they put something on there and they'll just party on there you don't you never know who you're gonna get but and we'll see what happens. If the price he wants is too rich for my blood. So, I may, I may go down the road to my neighbors. I don't have a, I had thought I had a spade shell over here with me. I don't, I would like to, I would like to plant those blueberry bushes. I just don't want them to sit in there. Sit in there, sit in the uh, little containers that I brought. I really want to plant them. So why don't I do that? I'm going to take a walk up the road and see if they're home and maybe I can borrow a shovel. That'll probably be the last thing I do for the day. But I think next time I come up here, I didn't plan on spending the weekend up here. It's just today. I didn't really come prepared. I may tackle that. I originally was going to move everything around, but I don't think I'm going to do it this time. I don't think I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is probably bring the other J pole up here. It's a longer pole with a better antenna on it. And I may have to take the coaxial cable down again and have a longer, longer run with it. I'll bring the other RJ6 cable up with me and measure it out. So I may have to do that. I may or may not do that next time. I had, at some point I would like to put the screen screen back up. I'll probably do that this time. I'll put the screen back up next time I come up here and probably tackle the door. See if I can put that on. That's that's gonna be a project. I have no idea whether I can do that or not. That's I kinda wish I had another person up here with me doing it. I really I kinda need two people to help me with that, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. So let me take a walk up the road and see what's going on see if the home safe can borrow a shovel i kind of wish i had brought one up here with me but i thought i had one up here but no uh okay i'll be back in a bit
boy. Rocks. Rocks here. How big are they? I don't know. Look at the big one. Wow. That is a big one. How big it is. All this for blueberry bushes. Well, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon here on a Saturday. I'm gonna be taking off for the day. I'm going back home. I only spent the day up here. Uh, well, we almost got what we needed to get done, but it was still kind of a productive day. You know, I cleaned up the house a little bit, put everything back, put some blueberry bushes in, cut up a, cut up a tree over there that was that had fallen, cleaned up some brush, um, they put the wind chimes on the shepherd's pole back there. And um, got all the wiring done. My neighbor helped me do it. Uh, the only thing he didn't do was put the breaker in. So he's going to get the right one tomorrow. And he's going to test it out. And should be working by tomorrow. But I won't be here. It'll be working next time I come up here. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. And I will be back next time with another video. Probably not next week. Or probably the week after. But if the moment strikes me, I may come up next Sunday, but probably not. So I think next time I come up, I'll be doing a lot more work. But today was pretty, pretty much a productive day considering I got a late start, you know. So I'll probably, I'm going to may screw around with that screen door and I may put the screen on before the bugs get out of hand. They're already starting to come out. I, can, I see a few of them here and there. They're starting to come out. So... I had an angry bird this afternoon, this morning here on the porch. Apparently he was making a nest above my, above the door to get in. I, I kind of just got it out of there. He was starting to make it in. I, uh, he made a mess, of course. It was all kinds of brush and dirt all over the place. So I, I kind of just swept everything away and before he could finish it, I just cleaned it up, and then he, she or he came by and just kind of was yelling and squawking, and eventually it went away. So whether it, it makes it, makes another nest when I come up here next time, we'll see. I'll have to do the same thing. I'll just get it out of there. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time I come up here. Everyone take care.